What's up everybody, Trolling Gaming here. So, uh, it's gonna be a bit of a random video, just me rambling about some things. I, I wrote down a couple of topics, but I'm sure I'm gonna go off topic and uh, we can go in any type of direction with this video, really. Uh, first and foremost, obviously, I wanted to say that I hope you all had a great Christmas. Um, we're able to, you know, celebrate it, I guess, the best way possible, right? Uh, hopefully with friends or family or something, but I know sometimes, you know, like uh, uh, due to circumstances, that's not possible. And if that was the case for you, then, uh, you know, that sucks. And I hope nonetheless that it's been a good couple of days. But basically, uh, yeah, for all of you, I hope you had a great time, of course. Um, uh, celebrated it well and hopefully got some good presents. I know people always ask me if I, you know, got some good presents for Christmas and stuff. Uh, which To which I gotta say that I actually didn't get any presents at all because it's not a thing here. Uh, we don't actually, you know, get presents with Christmas. We have like a separate event for that, which also happens to be in the... December, but it's like in the beginning of the month um, so you know there I did get some stuff nothing really significant honestly but uh, uh, but yeah let me know in the comments if you got something good because I would love to hear from you all if you uh, you know if you ended up maybe getting some cool games or hardware or whatever you ended up getting um, yeah let me know in the, in the comments I would love to read some uh, uh, you know some stuff from you about what you got um, I did ultimately actually uh, give myself some presents, I guess, I, because I did buy some games. Uh, there are two games I ended up getting. The first one is Wolfenstein 2, because uh, I've heard great things about it. Uh, I feel like that's the type of game that I need to play, because I love linear stuff, you know. And the first one I do own, I never actually beat. Um, and I may still end up first beating that one before I get into the second one. But I heard that the second one is like significantly better. And the first one, although I like the story, I heard that it's not that like story driven anymore. The, 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 the deeper you get into it, I guess. So it kind of like threw me off. But so, but I don't know yet. Like either I'm I'm still gonna beat the first one, or I'm just gonna look up the story and dive straight into the second one. I'm not sure. Uh, the second the second game I bought though is a little funny because uh, that's a game that that never really appealed to me at all as far as the art style goes and the fact that it's a very Japanese game, which I'm not the biggest fan of that type of style myself uh, and, and that type of game, I guess. But, um, you know, the whole thing is that it's been getting a lot of praise over the year. I've had my Twitch audience kind of convince me to finally just see what the hype was about and try it out for myself. I saw it was on sale for like 30 euros or whatever. And so I decided to bite the bullet. And so I'm gonna uh, finally, you know, get over my weep fears, I guess. And play Persona 5 uh, very soon, hopefully today actually on Twitch, gonna play that for the very first time. So that's definitely gonna prove to be quite interesting, I would say. Uh, but no, like I said, I wanna see what the hype is about, I wanna see what Persona 5, you know, why it's been getting so much praise, and uh, gonna go into it with an open mind, and hopefully, you know, hopefully still find it very fun, and, uh, and, and that it may, you know, surprise me, right? Um, last thing I actually did to celebrate C Christmas, I guess, is I went to the cinema, I finally watched Star Wars The Last Jedi and so I was thinking maybe I could do a review for it on the channel I'm not too sure about it um you know, so let me know in the comments if you uh, if you want me to do that, I guess, because, you know, like, uh, uh, right now it's pretty dry as far as gaming news goes. Everybody's on a holiday and stuff, obviously, so there's just not much news out there at all to talk about. Um, so, this, you know, this could be a cool idea, something to do, just a, you know, one-off type of thing, or maybe a movie review every now and then, but obviously that's not in any way um, uh, gonna, like, impact the channel in a massive way or something. That's People are always so scared when you ask something like that, you know, should I do movie reviews? They're like, no, I want you for gaming stuff, but it's like, well, I'm not gonna do a movie review every every week or something, it's gonna be, you know, every once in a while, right? So, uh, maybe I could do that for Star Wars, who knows? Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. Um, anyway, yeah, I mean, we're slowly, you know, getting close to the end, of course, of 2017, just a couple of days left, and it's been, you know, it's been quite an eventful year, I would say, especially for me personally, right? Like, Obviously, in the beginning of the year, I graduated from school, which was huge for me. I, I finally got my diploma in software engineering, and uh, I'd been kind of, you know, looking forward to that moment for a long time already, because, you know, personally speaking, I've never been a huge fan of school. 
Um, right now, you know, now that I've been out of it for quite some months already, you do miss certain aspects of it. Like, something I've really always liked about school is just the fact that you saw so many different people that you could talk to and interact with and, uh, you know, just friends that you made, I guess, um, over that whole time period, right? And, you know, those are people that you don't see as often anymore now. That kind of sucks about it, but at the same time, the one thing that always... Like, like school itself, just sitting in a classroom and listening to the teacher and stuff, I've never been a huge fan of that. And uh, especially in the, in, the, in the last couple of years, it's been very practical to the point where I was doing internships and stuff. And it's just a lot of work and you don't really get that whole interaction aspect that I was talking about anymore as much uh, regardless. So, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm glad that it's that it's past me, but it's weird, you know, because it's this my whole life I've been in school and now it's the first, this was the first year where I was actually out of school and stuff. And of course, you know, another big thing there is the fact that um, basically I've been in school for like, what, 18 years in total, I guess, since I was four years old. And uh, yeah, 18 years thrown away because I decided to, uh, uh, to pretty much, you know, try and pursue this 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 whole YouTube and Twitch thing which I've really been enjoying of course and that's the thing for the last five years I've been very busy with informatics but at the same time um, when I was not in school I was doing YouTube and I was live streaming and stuff and that was also something that I really enjoyed and uh, uh, kind of like tried to build out over the time so you know the fact that I'm now um, doing this, you know, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's awesome. Like this is something that I've really always been enjoying so much and that I realized over time, Hey, I can actually do something with this, right? I can actually take it more seriously, um, than what I already was doing when I was still in school. And so that is the awesome thing about it. I've really been enjoying this year because I've been able to do exactly what I want to do and that's making videos and doing live streams and stuff so so overall it's just been a very fun year and I guess at the same time I can announce something pretty cool which is the fact that I've decided that it's not stopping here yet um, we're not quite to the point where uh, you know I'm like financially I guess comfortable right because that's the thing right now I live at home of course eventually I'm gonna have to move out and um, you know at that point I need to be at a point where uh, I'm financially independent, or at least in, in the way that, you know, I know that I'm going to be able to, to, to pay all the bills and that kind of, kind of stuff, right? And like I said, we're not quite there yet to the point where that is possible, but at the same time, I'm super happy with, uh, the, you know, the, the point we are at, I guess, and I'm confident that I'm going to be able to keep building this out, um, you know, to, to a certain, to a certain level where, where that is going to be possible, right? And this, so that's the awesome thing. And I've decided that for now, I'm still going to keep doing this and see where exactly we can take it so um that is absolutely awesome but it's not just been an eventful year just as far as that goes also obviously uh, there have been a lot a lot of controversies i guess uh it, not just in gaming but overall i feel like i feel like the discussions that we have with each other with each other sorry tend to get even more heated as time goes on uh, in, you know, in, in many different ways, politically and like I said, in gaming and, and pretty much everywhere, social media, Twitter, YouTube, wherever you go, uh, things have gotten more and more heated over time. And that does suck to see in my opinion because sometimes I just take a step back and I realize how far people go including myself you know like even even when I personally look at myself at times you know I realize like wow looking at Twitter or something like that it's like I'm only using the platform to 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 spread negative emotions or to tweet out that that I'm angry about something like it's just it's weird but like that's what what the current landscape is really doing with you um, more and more and I I really try to look at myself and be like what I want to do moving forward in 2018 is I want to be more um, positive I guess not 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 fake positive in any way but just like more uh, uh, I guess you know not not as easily reacting very emotional to certain things uh, uh, because I notice that sometimes not just in videos but but like I said also on social media and stuff where sometimes I feel like I'm just um, I'm, I'm not being who I normally am, which is normally I am a very positive person, I would say. Just somebody who who thinks things, uh, who thinks things through, if that makes sense, right? Like I actually, you know, I yeah, I really try to do that at times, but, but sometimes I notice with where we are at that that's not really what I'm doing. Uh, but like I said, there's just, just been some controversies um, happening 
course, we had the whole YouTube adpocalypse, which is more something that affected me negatively with the dream of doing YouTube and Twitch, not so much uh, regarding actually getting super mad over it personally, because I kind of saw it coming. And I think the nice thing uh, that the YouTube adpocalypse had, the kind of side effect, is the fact that people have become more and more... Um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like they've, yeah, aware. They've become more and more aware that YouTube is not something that makes you rich. Unless you're like a, unless you're a very, I guess, um, popular YouTuber, then yes, there is unlimited money to be made, of course. But for very small channels like my own, uh, it's something huge. And it's not like I don't do YouTube because I try to make as much money out of it as possible. If I wanted that, I might as well get a normal job in software engineering that I actually studied for. Because trust me, there's much more money to make to be made there um, compared to the channel that I have, right? And I think the nice thing has been that a lot of people have decided to um, come over and support on Patreon and stuff. And like, those are the people right now that are making me confident that I can actually keep doing this and keep going with it and hopefully grow over time to the point where it is actually possible to keep doing it, right? And so that's been an awesome actually side effect of the YouTube adpocalypse. But there have been some other controversies uh, in gaming with the whole loot boxes and the microtransactions, of course that was huge and personally as far as heat the debate goes uh, uh I, I really wanted to i guess share this sort of like christmas slash new year's new year message going into 2018 talking about this topic a bit because you know like i said things get more heated over time and for me the video where i've really noticed that funnily enough was the 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 pewdiepie situation that was the one video where even though the majority still agreed with me, and so it wasn't that bad in that way. The people that did disagree took it very personally, and I understand that, and that's fine, um, but it really made me realize certain things, right? Because, of course, uh, that was the whole thing where PewDiePie said the N-word on stream, and it was a very stupid thing of him to do, and just, like, you know, I was not in any way defending that or something. I was actually saying that that he should have, he should have in no way, or he should have thought that through way better. Like, I have no idea what made him to 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 say that on stream or something you know what like like why would even do that but at the same time the only thing i was saying is that just for using the word i wouldn't as easily label him as a racist or whatever because i feel like you need to know a person better than that um you know, just to be able to 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 do that, right? That's all I was saying. A lot of people took that very uh, uh, personally to the point where they were even, for example, calling me all kinds of names or even, <laughs> even coming to the point where they're labeling me as a racist just for saying that, right? And I think that's just the point where I realized, damn, things have gotten so crazy over time. And that's the thing that I wanted to share going into 2018 is I hope that people will be able to react a bit less emotionally but try to always place themselves in the shoes of someone else or just think things through a little more before they start reacting because at the end of the day we are all human everybody has an opinion or something you always know that somebody is not going to agree with you on a certain topic it's always going to happen regardless of what you think and i hope that once again with things getting so heated in every single spectrum i guess not just gaming alone uh that's something that we need to realize ourselves you know um uh, more and more is that people are not always going to agree that's fine and uh, uh try to accept and understand that you know people are gonna have different opinions and a real argument or a real discussion is not actually one with name calling a real discussion is one with actually providing great arguments right and so that's what i hope going into 2018 that people will do a bit more because i know for example i actually have a video planned out that i'm gonna do very soon that is probably going to be a bit controversial because I've been very dissatisfied or unhappy with a certain thing, um, you know, uh, 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 which actually concerns something that we all love very much. Some people might actually know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to kind of um, not reveal it too much yet, I guess. But it's just like, you know, once again, I know that things can get controversial. There are going to be some people that will not take it very um very you know like like friendly i guess or i don't know how to, how to say it well but they're gonna take it in, in in a way where they could react very aggressively to it or whatever but at the end of the day we're all human we all have opinions and uh, uh let's try to keep it respectful let's try to keep it civil mature uh because that's that's what i love about this channel always what i've what i always have loved is that 
I've noticed just that my type of viewers, because of the type of content I make, are always willing to have a good discussion with each other and be very respectful about it. That's what I love and that's what I hope that going into the new year we can keep in mind and 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 still have be a thing, I guess, overall. Uh, anyway, with that being said, yeah, I mean, it's been a pretty like I said, very eventful year for me personally, as far as the personal journey uh, goes. At the same time, it's been a great year as far as YouTube goes as well. And I want to thank you for all your support, of course, because it's been awesome. I can, I can only hope that I'm going to be able to keep growing, um, you know, in the next year, right? Uh, we're most likely about to hit 100k subscribers as well soon. So that's going to be a huge milestone for somebody who's been doing this for like six years now. Uh, it's fine. It's, it's great to finally be at that point. And hopefully YouTube is not going to take like eight months to send me that silver plaque but you know anyway uh yeah no it's 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 you know it's it's just been uh it's been it's been awesome i can only hope that things are gonna gonna be able to keep to keep being this awesome moving forward right that's basically all that i wanted to say thank you for your support i hope you all had a great christmas let me know all your thoughts and and like i said some uh, uh let me know your the presents that you got and stuff in the comments i want to hear about all of that i hope that you all have a great new year i'm still going to make some videos of course over the next couple of days but just gaming related or topic related so uh this is i guess the, the the final personal video that i'll be doing in the year so yeah happy new year everyone uh, i hope you're you're gonna uh you know 2018 is gonna prove to be an awesome year for you all uh, and for me as well some great games coming up to god of war red dead redemption but this video has been like what 18 minutes or something by now i don't know some crazy amount so uh let me know your thoughts in the comments and then for now thanks a lot for watching everybody and hope to see you again next time